When we think of the circulatory system, we always tend to think of the most common pattern of blood flow around our bodies. Oxygenated blood flows from the heart through arteries which terminate as capillaries. The smallest blood vessels found in our tissues and organs where nutrient and gaseous exchange takes place. The vessel networks formed within our organs and tissues are known as capillary beds. Blood drained from these capillary beds carries deoxygenated blood and drains into veins which return the blood back to the heart. Very straightforward, right? But did you know that not all blood circulation follows this pattern? Deoxygenated blood drained from certain organs is sometimes drained through what's known as the portal system into a second capillary bed before being returned to the heart. Where does this happen and why? Well, let's find out more as we explore the veins of the small intestine. Here we're looking at the abdominal cavity from the front. The small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal and is responsible for digestion of food and the absorption of nutrients. The alimentary canal starts from our oral cavity and ends at the external anal sphincter. The small intestine makes up the majority of the alimentary canal and is composed of the duodenum, which is the small highlighted structure here. Distal to the duodenum is the jejunum, and after that we have the ileum, which is where the small intestine ends. The venous system of the small intestine will mostly follow the arterial system of the small intestine. But all of the blood has to return via the liver so that the nutrients can be processed. This means the larger veins aren't paired with arteries that come from the aorta because they go straight into the liver via the portal venous system, which we'll talk about first off. So over here we've got a schematic diagram of the portal venous system highlighted in green. And this special venous system connects capillaries of the intestines and other organs to the hepatic sinusoids. The hepatic portal system plays an important role in delivering nutrient-rich blood to the liver, which will then cleanse it of toxins and remove the nutrients which have been extracted from food. This is where all of the blood from the small intestine eventually ends up. Once the liver is done with the blood, it flows straight back into the largest vein of the body, the inferior vena cava, which is this large vein here, where the blood can return straight to the heart. You can also see it here, highlighted in green. Next up is the superior mesenteric vein, highlighted in green in this picture. The stomach, located in the upper left quadrant, the transverse and descending colon, as well as the pancreas, have been cut out of this picture. And you can see the C-shaped duodenum here. On top of that, we have the superior mesenteric vein. Embryologically, the superior mesenteric vein forms to drain the midgut. The midgut starts at the ampulla of vata and ends two-thirds of the way along the transverse colon. So all of the parts in between drain to the superior mesenteric vein. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.